the cloth brush has got added to Blender 283 Alpha and I just can't stop playing with it. It's just so easy to, to do kind of work that I don't have the skills for and even it would be like really hard. You have to be a, like a, a, I don't know, just really good at making this kind of work. It's even, I, I don't know, it's even easier to use than I expected. There's just only a few settings that you will see on the sidebar when you have the brush um, enabled. Um, the first, the, the most important are these ones, for example, the simulation limit. That's the outer white ring that you see when you have your, your cursor, when you curse mouse over the mesh, you're going to see this white ring. That is the limit of how far your simulation is going to go. You want to keep that value uh, not too high because for um, for performance reasons, uh, but not too small either because you're going to see that if it's too small, once you start simulating and you like touch the edges, it might get, um, might get a bit too obvious. For example, here you can see the edge. Um, if with other brushes or with a higher intensity, it's even more obvious. But the yeah, just make it slightly bigger, and you can also adjust the fall off just so that edge is not so harsh. Then uh, the settings that are most uh, interesting and more useful are these ones, the deformation. So there is a number of deformation types. Uh, my favorite so far when, I, when I'm uh, the one I'm playing with is pinch perpendicular because you can do this kind of wrinkles very easily, but there is also drag, so you just basically are dragging uh, the mesh around, push, basically just pushing and it makes wrinkles around it, pinch point, you just, you, you mark a point in the mesh, it works better with radial, and you're basically just pinching the, uh, that part of the of the cloth, of the cloth, and the great thing is that it's a simulation, so every time you do it, it's different, and if you let it run, like with the with this damping um, option here, you let you hold the mouse and you let it run. The mouse in this case, because <laughs> I'm using a mouse, I've got so excited that I didn't even <laughs> bring my pen, tablet. So yes, you can't even uh, you can even use the pinch point, and the, um, you can mix it with the kind of fall off. So you, instead of radial, which is just a circle area, you can do a plane which is, you can do the whole plane direction of where you are going. For example, in this case, I can do so, if I pull down, it brings the whole um, mesh down with it, like in a, in a plane, not just the one point. So that's nice for making long lines uh, or like pull things up. Um, it's just it's just awesome. Then uh, there is a pinch perpendicular, is the one I was, I was using which if you use it with plane, it, it helps to uh, to make, for example, like these wrinkles because it pulls, it pinches from both sides in a, in a, in a line. And if you hold control, and this works in every brush, but if you hold control, it does the opposite. And in this case, it pulls the sides, the, the t-shirt apart. So maybe the character um, has a bigger back, for example, and it just makes all these wrinkles for you. And it's just just so nice how how everything <laughs> I don't know it's just I, I'm so bad with with simulations and tweeting the settings and baking and this just makes it all so much easier. There's also inflate, grab, and expand, and it's just well grab is just you're just pulling the it works better with radial. You're just basically just pulling parts of the of the mesh and it's gonna make wrinkles around. Um, that works well for example if you um your uh, shoulders, for example, or actually in this area, what would work better is to mix it with a mask. You can also mix it with a with the regular mask system. So where you paint, it's gonna be not affected by the cloth simulation. So it's like gonna be pinned. So for example, in this case, I if I simulate, it's gonna do everything but the um, the area where I masked it. So it's really good if you wanna keep. I don't know, for example, like I said, like your knees and your pants around, you wanna add wrinkles on it or your shoulders or a tablecloth or like you name it. Then there's the mass option where uh, here I'm playing with high values just to play safe. But if you play with two small values, the, um, the mesh is gonna be like lighter. So it's gonna, um, yeah, you have to be more careful 
but the yeah it's gonna simulate it differently basically and clamping is how much the applied forces are propagated through the cloud through the cloth i usually keep it fairly fairly high value and this yeah the mesh it's it's okay if he has some polygons um but yeah it's simulation so it's gonna it's gonna be a bit heavy depending on the mesh on the mesh you have um but because it have, it it acts in the original mesh you can add on top for example a uh, soft surf modifier and just gonna uh, smooth out those those lines and the simulation is gonna be just as fast because the simulation happens in the original um in the original vertices no in the subdivided ones so super nice go play with it it's available on the uh, builder the builder the blender the experimental builds and uh, i think this is gonna be my weekend now uh sorry guys i'm just gonna <laughs> spend the whole weekend playing with cloud sim bye bye